detecting a lot of dragon radiation downtown. This is more than I've ever felt before. So, a primal dragon has finally shown up. One that isn't me, I mean. Okay, I just contacted Sumaragi's peacekeepers. They should be able to evacuate the citizens from the area by the time we arrive. The guy on the line gave me an earful about deploying on Christmas Eve, though. Come on, let's stop that primal dragon. Okay, Kitty. This must be a walk in the park for you if you're already worrying about me. The Azure Striker sure is something. <sighs> That's not true. Okay, fine. Just focus on the mission, okay? I'm gonna keep you busy with my new technique. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Kirin, Battle Priestess of Shadow Yakumo slash Sumaragi. Moving out! Seems like the citizens were able to evacuate safely. That device there is a chain lamp. Shadow Yakumo set them up to assist battle priestesses in their demons. I can use chain lamps as anchors for my arc chain. Get me used to using Pervasion? Pervasion will use your talismans to automatically avoid attacks. So it's incredibly useful. Just be aware though. Talismans used up by Pervasion won't replenish over time. You'll need to quickly press... At first glance, this may appear to be a dead end. But that won't stop this battle, Priestess! Use your arc chain to get some air. Then hit the next chain lamp with a talisman. Just keep using your arc chain repeatedly. Even the urban defense installations are going berserk. If I were in peak condition, I'd be able to use my assured strike to the neutral the There's no time to worry about that crap. We just gotta work together and cut our way through. Doesn't that... Hey, Kitty, I was wondering... What exactly are those chain lamps? The principle behind them is similar to hexapiles. Originally, they were information terminals meant for Shadow Yakuma members to access data. But, let's just say... It seems that this and the peacekeepers were against us here. That's not entirely true. They did manage to evacuate the time. Instead of blaming yourself, let's get the situation under control here. You two are right. I need to keep my head in the game. There's a hexapile down here. All right, let's bust through and keep going. This is one tough security shutter. Busting it open would be a waste of time. Time to unleash your power, Gunboat. Unleash! Your turn, <laughs> This is unbelievable. The power was so unstable before, but now I can control it so precisely. That's all thanks to my radiant star. I can use my field to adjust the output of your radiant striker and stabilize it. My body feels so light. I have perfect air control as well. You should be able to jump anywhere you want now. Gotta make sure I'm your back, though. I used to need special equipment to do this, but I guess I don't now thanks to your feathers. It looks like you're in peak condition, but your body is really overflowing with special energy. Was it always like that? No, I can use my dog to be both just like your arm chain. Anything you can do, I should be able to do it myself. That way you won't... It looks like you kind of flush through the air when you're releasing electricity. Is it slowing your fall somehow? Magnetic field forms underneath me while I'm electrified and causes me to fall more slowly. I can use my hover ability in tandem with mid-air jumps to get over nasty terrain. 
You're too alone. So when you down into an enemy, you get to walk onto them and it doesn't even hurt you? You really can do it all, huh? Well, it's not like I can do anything. I'm just copying the move from a non-adapt I fought a long time ago. A non-adapt could move like that? You gotta be kidding me. What was it called again? You know, that really brutal attack of yours? Mean Voltaic Buster? It's an attack specially designed to take down a single target without fail. Is it really that brutal? Sure looks like overkill from where I'm standing. Against a simple defense droid, it may seem that way. But against a primal dragon clap? Even with your full power release, my fetters were able to keep you from going berserk. We should still be careful going forward, though. Using your power will drain the fetters gauge from now on. The fetters gauge represents the stability of my seal on your power. You could also think of it as your stamina. It will decrease pretty slowly when you're doing nothing, but it'll drain very quickly when using pervasion or powerful attacks. But don't you worry. If it runs out, you'll just return to your doggy form. You won't go berserk or anything. Got it. I'll keep it in mind. I'd prefer to stay in this form if at all possible. Aw, too bad. I like your doggy form better. It's all fluffy and stuff. The fetter gauge will recover as long as I'm in the front doing the fighting, so we'll work more efficiently by taking turns. However, I can't switch places with you until the fetter gauge is at least 100% full. We just can't take any chances with your power. Don't forget that. Understood. I'll do whatever I insist, even if it's only for a short time. Also, if you really want to keep the gauge up, press down twice and keep it held the second time. You can concentrate your energy to keep the gauge from decreasing. You won't be able to move, but you'll still evade enemy attacks with pervasion. So it might come in handy at the right time. I'll need some time to adjust to this but I'll keep it in mind when I want to preserve the Fetters Gauge. I'm sensing something. Yo, babe. How you doing? You picked a fine day to take your dog for a walk. Why is a cutie like you out all by yourself? I'll be damned. It speaks. This is very different from your situation, Gunvolt. Come on now. We were just having a nice chat here. Why you gotta bring up some other dude's name? The name's Black Badge. How about you and me paint the town red on this holy night? Sorry, I'm not into smooth talkers like you. Besides, you're a wanted man. Ouch, total ice queen. You're just gonna diss me like that? It's always like that, huh? Nobody gives a damn about me. That's it. I've had it. I'm gonna destroy everything on this holy night. I can't stand any of ya! Listen up, everybody! This is an announcement! Christmas is officially canceled! Hip cats hit the bricks! All you hair turning ladies and gents are in for a rough night! All you happy couples get a ticket for a romantic cruise straight to hell! This guy's all over the place. He's definitely gone berserk. It seems like he might still have a piece of himself. Has he lost control of his emotions? Take this! I'll waste it! Come here! Awesome! I see how it is. You totally got like turned that? out for a Christmas date, didn't you? You're like the ultimate buzzkill. Maybe that's why you're still single. <clears throat> Cute. Dragon radiation is causing him to go out of control. It's not his fault. Hey, who are you calling out of control? Cool as a cucumber, you handsome jock! I'm gonna beat you senseless until you learn some respect. 
Was that another Muse Septima like you, Lumen? No, I can tell it's a different energy from the Muse. The two abilities are pretty similar, but I think this one's a different type. Is there someone attempting to manipulate the Primal Dragons? I sure hope not. I was crashing here so long. BB was kept under close observation, but after a thorough inspection, his results were no different from any other normal adept. He also claimed to know nothing about that Septima that resembled the Muse. I thought you were a real piece of work during our fight, but now you seem like a fine guy. Wait, for real? Hell yeah. You think I'm fine? Yeah, sure. You aren't the total ladies' man you think you are, though. Ouch! Oh, blow! So that's how it is. But, okay, hear me out. Are you guys always dealing with this dragon radiation and primal dragon stuff? This was actually the first time the Bureau of Dragon Saviors has deployed, but yeah. From here on out, we will be dealing with that stuff. It's part of our duties here. After seeing what the dragon radiation did to the peacekeepers, I'm sure of one thing. 
Only I, with my radiant fetters, can seal the power of the primal dragons without succumbing to dragon radiation. Yeah, I don't vibe with that at all. You two are just gonna work yourselves to death like that? No way! Besides, I got some amends to make. Come on, let me on your team. Thanks to your fetters thing, I shouldn't have another dragon problem, right? Hmm... Sure, that's fine. Welcome aboard, Black Badge. Just like that? You sure about this, Kitty? There's only so much we can do with just you and me. I'll take any help we can get. If a cat walked in here now, I'd hire them. Oh, hey! I'm even better than a cat. Unless, of course, you need a cat. Meow. Meow. Actually, the position is filled. I was just joshing, pulling your leg. Anyway, you two just feel free to call me BB. Let's do this. Hey, BB, seeing your Septima gave me an idea for a new way to use my fetters. Hot ah, dang! I actually did you a solid? That's dope! Yeah, your Septima did at least. I can hold down the button and release it to throw even more powerful talismans. Hold and release? So your fetters got a charge shot? That seems like real handy dandy. It's not quite as powerful as that, but I can use it together with regular talismans to take down tough opponents. My Septima is called Geist. I can use it to give form to the energy of souls. You act like such an upbeat guy, but your Septima's actually pretty grim. Are you actually all dark and gloomy on the inside? Wha pow! Right in my weak point. For massive damage! Well, when I was a little guy, I was more of the loner type. Since you're a priestess, Keating, aren't souls and ghosts your territory? I can see them perfectly fine. I just can't use them like Bibi does. The souls that Bibi is talking about aren't the souls of the dead anyway. Wait, really? And what the heck are they? What do you mean? It's a Septima. Septima? Well, what the heck's a Septima? If you can figure that out, you can make the world a better place.